Okay, so um, notice that it says, what is the period, right? So we're going to set friction force here equal to one of these, and because it's it's asking for the period, right, we're going we're gonna to use these guys. So this guy equals that guy. That's the basis of this, right? Okay, so we start off with mu times m times g. That's the coefficient of friction, right, times mass times gravity, right, is equal to m 4 pi squared r over t squared, okay? Uh, the mass cancels, so we don't even need to know the mass. Beep, that's kind of fun, huh? Okay, uh, this is our coefficient of friction, so let's fill that in. So we'll go 0 0.850. Uh, G is 9.8, right? And then that's 4 pi squared. What's our radius? There it is right there. 0 0.170, right? And then that's divided by T squared, right? Okay. Now, mathematically, remember, this is over 1, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little do -si do okay? I'm going to do, this guy is going to go up here, and it'll be alone on the top, and these guys here, I'm just going to toss them down there, right? And we'll end up with this. T squared is equal to 4 pi squared times uh, 0 0.17 over 0 0.85 times 9.8, okay? So here I am, I'm, I'm ready to type it in. So I'm going to go 4 pi squared times 0.17. And then I just go divided by 0.85, divided by 9.8. And I get the t squared is 0 0.80568. So therefore, t is equal to, I'm going to square root that, right? So second square root, second answer. I get 0.89759. Nine, well, that's approximately 0 0.898 seconds. If I had to round it to three digits, that's what it would look like, because we'd have to round it to that spot, right? Okay.